Hello YouTube watchers and subscribers. I thought I'd get back to some of my unboxings. And have I got a treat for you. Wow, look at this. Oh, look at that. Got two unboxings, although I'm not gonna do them all today, but I'm gonna do one today. And it's gonna be this one on top. I don't know if you just read what it says. It says portable fridge freezer, T35. You might be saying, yeah, it's a fridge freezer and, but this one is gonna be a special fridge freezer. And I'm gonna show you right now. So let's crack on. Just ah! come out to film. Listen to that racket. There's a chap over there and he's got some heavy duty motors cutting his grass and all kind of stuff. Just as I've decided to come and do a video on this thing. Unbelievable. Anyway guys, I'm gonna have to wait a little while now. So you're gonna have to wait as well. I'll catch you guys after the noise is quietening down. <laughs> wow, let's have a look out there. It's gone a bit quiet now. Okay guys, I think we can crack on now. Let's go. Right guys, I've got the box out. So, as you can see, I've got my Tesla trunk showing here. So that's giving you a clue, isn't it? Hopefully a lot of you guys have picked up on what this is. Yep, this is a Tesla fridge freezer. I got it on Kickstarter a few months back and I've just got the time now to actually install the thing, but hey. space where it's going to go into and it's got wow oh all right that's a bit better it feels much much lighter now not as heavy as it was in the box but yep yeah, that's it guys let's turn it around so you can see it that is the tesla fridge freezer t35 let's have a look inside of it while we're here there it is guys, that's inside. It comes with this. I don't know what this is. This is, oh, it's a cloth. Comes with a cloth for cleaning. And obviously the power supply to the 12 volt car. Power supply there. That's that, that's some foam. Presume to stick to the floor floor keep well to level it off in the tr boot there and there's the cool box it's the t35 cool box and if you notice something there it's got a tesla fridge app which i'm going to show you guys later so let's just have a quick look around the oh those foam bits there these foam bits here are for the lid as you can see here, obviously, when you close the lid, it's gonna not obviously scuff on the box itself. And as you can see, it's quite a simple operation. I'm gonna show you now, I'm just flicking through the manual quickly. So have a look at that at your leisure, guys, obviously. You can see what it does, let's get that straight. So let's get my camera straight, tell you the truth. <laughs> Right, that's it. Have a look at that at your leisure. If you want to get one in the future, you can have a look at the instructions and see what it does before you get it. Lucky I record in 4K, isn't it? Because you can have a clear look. Just pause the video, have a flick through, and then you can make your decision whether it's for you. Okay, let's get to the bit. That's the end of it. You can take a battery as well, I think, using the battery monitor. Let's go to the 
Oh right, it protects your vehicle battery up here. The device is equipped with a multi-level battery monitor that protects your vehicle battery. Obviously you don't want your vehicle battery going down because you've got it on all the time. So that's really good. And as I said earlier, there's an app there. I'm going to download that later. And yeah, quite straightforward, nothing complicated. There's some fault diagnosis there. Uh, fault, possible cause and suggested remedy. So you've got all that as well. So that's really good. Yeah, so, oh, it's quite a lot of faults there, look. <laughs> Warning codes, faults, but well, that's really good. At least they've give, given you a lot of information if you do have any problems with your installation. So yeah, that's it guys. I'm flicking through the manual for you. As I said earlier, just pause the video and you can have a look at whatever you wanna look at to see if it's for you. So right, let's get this off. I'm so glad it's got handles, look at that. Really, really good. for you so it's not full of crap in there which I usually put in there so yep yeah, let's get this up now and chuck it in wow that is it guys that is in oh, it fits very snugly definitely definitely made for this trunk which it should be Let's put the lid down and see why I need those. Oh, right, that is, that is awesome, look at that. That is in. You would never know I've got a fridge freezer in my boot and I've still got all my space, look at that. Look at me hat, guys. Got one hat there, one hat there. And look at my seats there. I don't know if I've done a video, I don't think I've done a video on them. But hey, it looks good. Got all the kids' bottles of water there and everything. They can chuck their rubbish in there. Really, really good. But hey, that's for another time. This is the boot. Clear, expansive, but I've got a fridge freezer in there. Unbelievable. Look at that. Absolutely wonderful. Oh my days, that bloke's starting up the motor. He's gonna make a lot of noise again. Oh my days. Here we go. Okay guys, I'm gonna cut off now and I'll catch you in a mo. Wow, that's good. He's gone now. That should be good to go until the end of the video. No pauses. Right, so what I'm gonna do is obviously get the power lead and chuck that in because that's the main thing to get this thing working. As I said, or have you seen, I haven't used it yet. And that's the problem when you've got something and you haven't used it for a while. If there's a problem, you've kind of killed a lot of time because you haven't used it. Let's find out where this plug is. Oh, is it at the front? Is it at the back? Is it at the side? I don't know where it is. I didn't look. Oh, the plug is there. So the plug is on the right hand side of the unit and my plug, let's get this off. My 12, my, and my 12 volt socket is over here. That's where the 12 volt socket is on the Tesla Model Y. So the wire looks long enough, yeah, it's definitely long enough to stretch all the way to the 12 volt socket. So let's get this on, guys. So let me get this plug in the unit. Let's plug it in. It's this way, there's a little slot in there, as you can see, so you can't mess it up. It's not plug it in and it goes in any way. It's only gonna go in one way. So you gotta make sure it slots in there nicely. So that goes in there, let me put that down, very, very, oh, it's very, very, where should I run the wire, let's run it, do 
Do I run it round the front or run it down the back? I'm going to run it round the front because that's the shortest way to the power. And uh, yeah, it looks quite neat. You would never know it was there. That's the power lead there at the running through the front. And then I'm going to plug it in. Let's get my camera out. Let's plug it in to the 12 volt power socket up here. Oh, right, that was quite hard. Oh, God. Do you know what? I've never used it. So, I hope it works. You know when you never use something on a car, you just hope it works, because if I'd have tested it, I'd have brought it back to Tesla to repair. But it seems to be working. Let's switch it on to really check if it's working. Oh, nothing's happening, guys. Right, now back to the Tesla fridge. As you can see, guys, it is working. Great stuff. The problem that I had, why it didn't switch on, obviously the car was powered down. It wasn't live. So all I did, I opened the front door and I was good to go. Oh, wow, better turn that music off. Now you can see why it didn't work, because the car wasn't on. <laughs> but now I'm hearing lots of music. I better turn it off. Oh, get a copyright strike. Oh, look at that. I was looking for that. <laughs> Me avocado oil. I looked all over the house. I was checking everywhere. I said, where did I leave the damn thing? And I'd left it right here yesterday. Oh, my missus said, are you going crazy? Can't you find it? I said, I brought it in the house. She said, you couldn't have. It's nowhere. We've checked the whole house top to bottom. And it was in the car. Really good stuff this is. Avocado oil. Great stuff. Hello guys, I'm back. That uh, QR code lock on my manual, because as, as I said, I got it on a Kickstarter job. So that's not working. But then obviously I've got the app here, which I downloaded from the Play Store. So yeah, it's on the Play Store now. So that's where you can get it from. Here guys, let's get this app connected. Let's start searching. Right, that's it, it's come up. Let's press that. Right, that's it, all connected. Wonderful stuff. Look at that, guys. Yep, let's get out of the way. That's all connected. And as, it can, as you can see here, it shows the current temperature at the top, which is two degrees C. I can adjust it, I think. Nope, I can't do anything there. Oh, right, okay. Plus and minus. Press the plus and minus, obviously, to adjust the temperature to what I want, that's minus five. Look at that, down to minus 22. Oh, that is freezer stuff there. So that's great. But then if you just want it at a normal roomish temperature, you can go up to 10 degrees C, which keeps it nice and cool. So it's not too cold to give you a freezer burn. So that's the app, so straightforward, unbelievable. What's in here? Got some Chinese there, T name of fridge. I'm just gonna change that and call it the name of my vehicle, which is Vader, <laughs> Vader fridge, or something like that. Uh, and that's it, temperature alarm switch. Let's switch that on, always good to have an alarm. Get rid of that Chinese for a start. Check that to English, although I love Chinese. I'd love to learn the language. Um, what else have I got here? Energy saving mode, that's eco mode. I've got that there. Operating voltage high, medium, low. Not too sure about that, but I'm sure whichever way you've got it, it's okay. And that is it, guys. That is the app. So, so easy, straightforward and very, very easy to use. And then obviously, let's switch it off. <laughs> you can't beat that in it, look at that, it's off. All app control from the car. You just chuck your stuff in there. And when you're ready, you're driving along and you think, oh, let's get some cold drinks, uh, chill down. 
and then you just switch it on while you're driving and by the time you get where you're going, let's switch it on. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it's switched on, I haven't touched it. Unbelievable. So that's it guys. You know what, I like pressing it from the app. I like, I'm not gonna do it from there. I'm gonna press it from the app. Look at that. Whoa, <laughs> absolutely wonderful. All off guys. So that is it the Tesla fridge. If you want one of these, I'll put all the links in the description, whatever I find. As I said, I got this on a, I can't remember if it was Kickstarter or Indiegogo, one of the two, because I'm always on them two, batting between the two for stuff. But what I'll do, I'll put all the links in the description. Oh, let me get my face. It's a great bit of kit. I'll put all the links in the description for you if you want to get one, whatever I can find. Obviously, I haven't checked on anything yet, but whatever I find, because I got it on Kickstarter or Indiegogo, one of the two, I'm always on both of those things, batting between the two, getting all these early techie stuff. So yeah, this is it really. If you want to get it, links in the description. And until the next video, as I showed you, I've got another box there. I didn't tell you what it is, but it's a great bit of kit. And I think most households would want one. So I'll unbox that soon and put that up there for you guys to have a browse through. But until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video.